Okay, good to go. Um, obviously tough to totally explain, but couldn't speak more to just how proud I am as this, this group, uh, these seniors, uh, the culture in regards to guys just believing, battling, didn't play perfect, didn't play our best for a long period of time, but knowing this game is a long, long game and they, they found a way at the end. Uh, credit to our crowd. Look, in the middle of the third quarter, it did not look good, but they didn't they didn't leave. They were hanging around and they made a difference in the fourth the fourth quarter. Couldn't thank Beaver Nation enough. And for the senior crew that has been through a lot to be able to play their last game in Research Stadium in a game like that and to finish the way they did, really, really happy for them. Questions? He won eight games and this was the ninth. Does this was this a win? Does it feel like you needed a win like this to really set this season apart from, from everything? I do think this win changes things in regards to this season. Because uh, I do. We, we found a way to win close games and getting eight wins was nice. And for us to be able to finish this way at home, get to nine uh, for the senior piece, obviously against a team that we got a bunch of respect for, but we definitely want to beat. Uh, it means a ton. What was what what was the explanation given to you on the on the on the spot there on the, that seemed to <laughs> seem to turn everything around? You know those guys. Uh, explanation I get is that they reviewed it already before uh, uh, we wondered whether we're challenging or they're looking at every call and they're looking at every spot. How did did you feel like? It just seemed like from that point for the next six or seven minutes, things just went sideways. Did you feel like your team sort of lost it emotionally and then eventually got it back? I did think we were down. I mean, let's face it, the momentum and where it was. And at, at the back of our mind, though, if we could get a score and get the thing back in our direction, uh, you know, we had a chance and we did that. Uh, so much went on in that in the third quarter, the fourth quarter. But when, when things get a little, maybe the referees insert themselves a little more than you like, do you feel, do you tell the team like, okay, we need to go out and like make no, no question? Or? No, you know, we don't talk a ton about the, okay. the officials. I do think that's not an easy job and these are bang, bang plays. Um, and you're not going to get every call that goes your way. Uh, and, and just like any game, every play is not going to be perfect. There's going to be a lot of plays in the game. We've got to be able to battle back and, and respond from it. And these guys did. How big was this game? I know Oregon, everybody says one game at a time, but Oregon does mean maybe a little bit more. How have you, guys, have you sat back and thought that you are one game away from 10 wins, which would be the third time in program history? Uh, we talked about a little bit, especially heading into last week, getting to eight. You can't get to 10 without eight. We got that done. I do think these guys will be motivated in the whole game to get to get to 10 and uh, be able to finish our last home game in this place that was dynamic, electric, a uh, huge home field advantage because of our fan base. Uh, it's special and, and we definitely got one more game. You guys go on to score 14 on answer, then four four after that final hunt stop. Uh, you talked about special teams. Just how big were their play in those plays today to help this game? Yeah, yeah, really big. Obviously got the early block punt early in the game, uh, kickoff return, field position, getting it down. Silas has a huge return down to 50. Um, yeah, we got them, you know, they didn't execute a punt. Um, just kind of like we weren't executing earlier in the game, making some mistakes, turning the ball over and things. So. Uh, but teams were huge for us. I think our kickoff unit was big in field position too, and the way we covered and, and got some good field position there. Uh, Jonathan, obviously the defense today outlawed a little bit more than we've seen at Research Stadium, but 0 of 5 for Oregon on fourth down. Can you talk about how important Dude. that was, and was that one of the big differences? Yeah, it changed the game. I mean, even on their last drive, I mean, let's face it, they go down to the long five, they got four downs to get it and get the, the fourth down stop there. We had a huge play by Jaden on fourth down too. You know, change of momentum there. Uh, again, defensively, that's a good offense. And you knew they were going to move the ball and score, uh, but we kept battling and battling. We didn't play our best, uh, but when it counted on fourth down, we showed up. They've had some issues with, with punting this year. You had the block, they dropped the punt. 
the fourth down stuff, did you just put a little more, more emphasis on those situations during practice this week, knowing that they had they had some trouble there? You know, not. I don't think it was more emphasized. I think that we feel confident on special teams that we can affect the punter and get some return game. Anthony Gould's been huge for us on, on punt return. Um, we know that special teams matter, and these guys have bought into it. And then anytime, you know, short yardage, they're similar to us. Fourth down, there's a lot of opportunities to go. They they were going to go, and we've done the same. And so, a huge, huge stops on fourth down. Jonathan, when you got here, the first few years talking about the process and how much you had to go and, and where you came from, and you got a lot of guys that have kind of gone through almost that whole thing with you and your coaching staff. How rewarding is it to, for you to see their success and for you guys too to, to have the success now that you have? Yeah, totally rewarding. Especially a lot of these guys that came up and spoke to you before me um, that have been here a long time. Some heavy lifting in year, really year one. I still go back. I'm pretty proud of year two in regards to how close we were and, and making some real momentum. And these guys have been around. Jaden's going to hear Kipper the way he's gone. And I could go down the list, but really happy for these guys to go out and reach their standards. Coach, what can you say about what the offensive line did the second half? And, you know, what, what have you seen kind of growth wise from that unit all year? Yeah, yeah. Into that? that old line played good in that second half, making the thing physical, wanted to get back to the run game. Look, let's basically you know, start the second half the way we did, turn the thing over, uh, got some opportunities and explosive in the run game. I thought that drive toward the end of third quarter, Damian has the long crease. Really, the old line's doing that. And then they finished the game in the fourth quarter. You guys didn't shy away from pretty high expectations this off season, and I think it probably caught some people off guard, but to finish the season this way, I guess when you when you take a step back, what should expectations be for this program now the next few years? Yeah, you know, we'll take a step back and digest the, the whole year. I think the program's at a place that every time we line up, we got a chance to win, and you're going to get a chance to play, whatever, 12, 12 games in a regulation. And uh, <laughs> that's the expectation. Every time we line up, uh, we, get a, we get a great chance to win. Uh, anything can happen in a sporting event, especially in such a big game like this. But there was a point in this game where it did seem like it was getting a little bit out of hand, and I'm sure you felt that. At what point did you personally feel that shift where you were able to not relax, but maybe be like, okay, I think we can actually come back from this ball? Yeah, I think after Sean Fenwick, who's sitting out here making all the noise, <laughs> <laughs> he gets it done on third and short. Uh, we needed first down, be able to run the clock out, and he got that done. I felt a little bit comfortable at that moment that we could actually, you know, take a few knees uh, because it didn't it didn't go well. It did talk about it. You know, we got open the half. We got a three and out. They punched the ball, and then immediately we throw an interception, and they run it pretty practically back and they score. Talked about you know there's no difference in them getting the ball and running down and score. So offensively, we got to get some things going. Didn't immediately get it going. Uh, but there still was just a lot of time left in the game. This college football, the, the, it's a long game, and our guys know this, and they believe that they, you got to be able to play for four quarters. And then just a little bit of a different topic, the Spencer Webb tribute, even though this was a rivalry game, what did that mean to be able to give that gesture to Oregon? And yeah, you know, these games are meaningful and impactful, but there's just so much more uh, to life that's going on uh, for them to, you know, you have to endure something like that. We were going to pay tribute uh, to that. Uh, ask our guys, too, to be able to be respectful of that. There's emotions in this rivalry, and there's going to be a lot of a lot of things going on during the game, but there is a bigger perspective uh, for that, and we definitely wanted to be able to pay tribute to it.